，Ladies and Gentlemen。We are going to talk about arrangements and derangements of the word purple. And you see that this right here has six letters, but P and P are the same. We have two P's. We have some repetitions, so we have to be really careful with both situations. Let's talk about this one here first. Arrangements, of course, is also called the permutation. But since I'm talking about derangement right here, let's just put an arrangement. Anyway, for arrangement. You are just going to arrange these six letters, but because this P and that P are the same, this is what you have to be careful. Suppose I will color the first P in green like this, and because it has six letters, so the usual arrangement, you can just do six factorial. But this is only good for all six items are different. But because this P and that P are the same, here is the trouble. When you do six factorial, maybe you end up with a situation that. This P happens to be first in blue right here, purple right here, <laughs> and then U R, and then this P happens to be right here in green, and then L E. Well, in this case, this is still purple. So you don't want this to happen. What you do is you will have to divide it by. We have two P's being the same, so you have to divide it by two factorial. This is not just a two. Even though two factorial is two, but you will have to divide it by two factorial. The idea is that imagine if you have three p's right here in this word, then you have to divide it by three factorial, right? Because you have to think about how many ways to permute or to arrange this p and that p in these two spots. So this is pretty much it. Well, work this out on the table: seven twenty divided by two factorial, which is two. So altogether, you get three hundred sixty like that. All right, done. Now. This right here is the main dish. That was just the little appetizer. Hmm. Derangement with repetitions. I have six letters. Of course, I should have subfactorial to help me out. Subfactorial six. This is the usual number of derangement. When we have six letters, they are all different. But if I have this P and that P being the same, then we have to be really careful. And let me just draw you guys the first scenario right here. So suppose I am going to draw the corresponding、uh, spots or the slots like this. Well, one of the issue is that if you put this P right here, yes, you deranged this P because this P is not in the first place. So you did derange this P. But the problem is that the moment you put this p right here, that's a false derangement. We have to subtract that from the total of the subfactorial six. Well, we are deranging this p, and then we are also deranging this p. You know, I mean this u, this r, and this p is not deranged because you always see the p right here, thanks to that guy, right? So in fact, we are deranging this, 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 and this, and that. So technically, we have five things that we're deranging, and these five things are all different. So I will have to subtract subfactorial of five. So that's the idea. Just ignore this p because there's no hope because you always have this p already. Technically, you derange these five things, right? Similarly, if you deranged this p, but if you put this p right here instead. So I will put this down like this. Well, yes, you deranged this p because this p is no longer here, but you always have a p in the first place. So you are not deranging this p. You are deranging this, 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 that. Still, subfactorial five. So you have to minus subfactorial of five. Well, well, I know what you guys are thinking. What if we have the first p goes here and that p goes here? So let me just erase this. The last situation we、we'll、have to worry about is this p might go here. That's bad. In the meantime, this p also goes there. In that case, you are not really deranging this p. Well, you are not really deranging these two p's because you have these two p's right here in this spot. So what you're doing is just deranging this, 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 and that. So you have four things, and they are all different. So you have to minus. Subfactorial of four. Well, this is really really nice, isn't it? So, this is it. But you have to be careful. 
because similar situation. This right here seems to be true derangement, but we are double counting just like that. Why? Because let me just draw you guys a derangement right here. Suppose you have yeah, this is a derangement, right? But when you have a derangement which is right here already, well, I will do the same trick like that. I may have this P here and that P. If you switch, well, you don't want this to happen, so what can we do? Yes, you got it. We are going to divide it by 2 factorial, just like this as well. So among this so-called derangement, we want to divide all the repetitions, so divide it by 2 factorials. So this is pretty much it. Now, the deal is that how do we calculate subfactorials? So I'll put this down real quick. Remember the list that we did last time was if you start with subfactorial of 1, this is I say you are doing gift exchange with yourself, which is you always get your gift back. Yeah, so 0. Anyway, subfactorial of 2 is like saying you are doing gift exchange with, with your uh, special someone. You give the gift to her, she gives the gift to you. Well, there's only one way. Once you have this, subfactorial of 3, you can just do 2 because you have to do 3 minus 1, so it's 2, times the sum of this and that. So 2 times this is going to be just 2. And then subfactorial of 4, you guys know the answer already, but I'll still work out for you guys. This is going to be 3 because you have to do 4 minus 1, which is 3, times this plus that, which is another 3, so 3 times 3 is 9, and then subfactorial of 5 is 4 times this and that, which is going to be 11, times 4, which is 44, and then lastly, subfactorial of 6 is going to be 5 times this and that, which is going to be 53. 6, I mean 5 times 53 is going to be 265. Altogether, you should get 84 for the answer. Right? So, hopefully you guys all like this. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, I know, you guys are going to ask me, what if we have three P's right here, but why don't you try to figure that out? So, yeah, anyway, please subscribe if you're new to my channel and also no, help me to share this video to your friends, whoever likes math. Thank you so much.